Okay, here I have a text file. It's 07 text to columns pipe delimited dot txt. So theoretically, this could have come from the internet. It could have come from another company sending me a copy of their data. It could have come from a lot of different data sources. But if I want to get this data into Excel, I've got a little bit of an issue. I'm going to control a copy of this data. I've got a thousand rows of data. It's all just randomly generated, but we're just going to use it. And I'm going to paste it in, in here. And here's the issue I have. It's just all coming into the first column. It's just one big lump of text. But I want to separate the different fields of data. If I look at this data, I can see I've got ID, first name, last name, email, gender, IP address. You can see the, the pipes do not line up. So I can't just say, OK, take the first three characters and that's going to be the ID, take the next seven characters and that's the first name, etc. I can't do that. But conveniently, I do have this pipe character separating the data. Now I like the pipe character because it's not a character we use very frequently when typing things out. It just doesn't show up very often. So we can often use that pipe uh, instead of things like commas to separate our, our values in our data. Anyway, I've got the pipe character here, delimiting this stuff. Uh, to find that character, if you hold down shift, it's the key right above the enter key. At least on my keyboard, your keyboard could be laid out a little bit differently. I'm going to select column A. I'm going to go to data, and I'm going to choose text to columns. And now I want to convert this one big chunk of a column into several distinct columns. So I have two methods. Fixed width means that every column takes, um, all of my columns are lined up vertically. My columns are not lined up vertically. They're kind of mixed mixed up just based off of how long the, the names and email addresses are. So fixed width would not work here. Delimited means that there's a character separating each of these columns. And that is indeed what I have here. So I'm going to click Next. There are some common delimiters here. I'm going to click Other because I'm using the, the pipe. And as soon as I enter that, Excel gives me a preview of what the data is going to look like. So I should look at this to make sure that everything is looking the way I want it to. And it looks like everything is being separated appropriately. So that's good. So I'm going to click Next. And then I can choose my data type here. So maybe I want this to be treated as a, the ID to be treated as a number. That's fine. I'll keep it as general. First name, uh, last name. I'll, I'll treat it as text. If I left it as general, nothing bad would happen here. The most important is if you're dealing with a number that should be treated as text, like zip code or something, or address or um, anything where you want to preserve the leading zeros, you want to choose text instead of general. Uh, IP address, I'll and say text for sure. Then I click Finish, and Excel will do the magic for me. Now I've got all of these in separate columns. Now I can sort, filter, do all of that good stuff. I'm going to, you know, just size my columns appropriately. You know, you could rename things. You could change your formatting. You could do a lot of different things here to make your spreadsheet look good. But now I've got all that data from a, a raw text file in Excel where I can start to do some analysis, do some charts, do whatever I need to do for my analysis. I don't have to rely on doing all my analysis in Notepad. Uh, this is one helpful way to get data into Excel. So again, this is very useful when you're getting data from different data sources. People send you maybe some lists over email. You're copying and pasting data from a website. There's a lot of different ways to get data into Excel where the text to columns feature can be extremely useful.